You've got some explaining to do, Tiger. Trained from childhood as an Atlas assassin with over a thousand successful jobs to your name. Damn near killed my two best men before they brought you in. She said we're her best men. That makes me feel good. Ow. Here's how it is, Athena. I'm going to ask you a single question. And if I don't like your answer, you will die. Aim at the prisoner. Now, I will ask you this only once. Why? That is a long story. After the fall of General Knox, I wandered Pandora as a hired gun. One day, I received a job offer from a low-level Hyperion programmer. Come to the moon, it said. Hunt a vault, be a hero. I didn't trust Hyperion, but I was too hungry to pass up a paying job. And what did you find? Violence. Insanity, and a hero. Legion hadn't ambushed Helio Station. Everything might have gone a different way.
Hello, Vault Hunter, and thank you for answering Hyperion's summons. Unfortunately, the Helium Space Station is currently under attack by Insane Doll Military Forces. Please, take this Echo device. Now, follow me. I can take you to your contractor liaison. Me, Rocket. Lanny could have used some work, but A for effort. Sorry about the mess. Things got really hairy. What's the Lost Legion attack? <laughs> The Lost Legion must have killed this one. People think robots can't feel pain, but we actually feel it in slow motion, with great intensity. This robot died in horrific agony. Did that claptrap die? Ah! <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, you the vault hunters I hired. This is Athena, reporting. Oh, soldier down. Oh man, the ex lance assassin. Awesome, big fan. <laughs> Lots of help! I got no idea who these asshole troops are or why they got a murder on for this base station, but they got me pinned! Forward! Come out! Fight! Fight! Attention, Hyperion. Your Helio space station now belongs to the Lost Legion. Surrender before it is too late. <laughs> bleed over here internally for a while. Here, it's a super fun way to pass the time, but yeah, yeah, don't mind me. Just the guy who hired ya. Sorry, am I being passive aggressive? My bad, that must be a symptom of almost dying. But no, no, I'm, I'm sure you've got a, a lot of important stuff to do. I'll just sit over here and just, holy crap, you saved my life, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, heart's bounding, never been shot at before. Kind of fun, actually. Look, these crazy bastards attacked Helio Station right after I sent for you guys. If we can drive them off, we'll be free to go after that vault on the moon's surface. All right, looks like you got a shield. Planetary, really. It'll lead bullets until it depletes. When it does, you gotta hide and give it time to recharge. Hey, just let me activate the defense controls. A few seconds, we'll have turrets, force fields, laser wires. <laughs> these assholes won't know what hit them. Critical failure. Helios defense systems are being jammed. What? How? Jamming signal originates from Elvis, Pandora's moon. Oh crap, kill the turrets, kill the turrets! Better, better. All right, plan B. If we can't take Helios back, we need to evacuate. Escape ships are this way. We must take this ground. Who's that woman? Uh, she leads these jackasses, I think. I don't know, but the first person to shoot her in the head gets a high five in a turbo mansion. Hey! Oh, son of a taint. <laughs> Hey, it's that colonel! Execute plan and shoot that chick in the head! Hello, Jack. Okay, that's unnerving. Run! Oh, perfect. She destroyed the ships. We gotta find another way out the station. I've never seen a creature like that. What was it? Uh, no idea, but I get the feeling it could kill us with its brain, so, you know, uh, <laughs> keep running. Jack, what the hell is going on? I'm getting reports of alarms all across Helios. Nothing, sir. Nothing. Everything's fine. Just, uh, one of the claptrap units tried to French kiss a light socket, sir. Need I remind you that you are there to observe Pandora? Nothing more. 
If you incur any damages to the Helios space station, I will personally... Ah, oh, sorry, sir, we're losing connection. I can... Uh, ah. What? I called you an asshole because I thought I'd hung up. My bad. We will speak again, John. There's Elpis. That friggin' jamming signal is somewhere down on that cracked rock messing up all the cool security stuff up here. Attack us, you dicks! I want this station, and I want to save the universe. The hell's that supposed to be? Okay, well, I've got a stupid idea. We're gonna head to that moonshot cannon. Follow me. What's this moonshot cannon we're heading toward? Basically a huge gun that shoots supplies down to the moon's surface like at about a thousand miles an hour. We're gonna get in one of those containers and escape that way. Will we survive that? I don't know. Be a pretty cool way to die, though, huh? They're at the moonshot cannon! Move in! I had suspicions. Money, revenge, that said, whoever needed a reason out here. Saved my life. Uh, now we just gotta. Oh, for what the, the auto shock controls are damaged. Someone's gotta stay back and launch the pods manually. I'd suggest Athena, but I need John Alpus. You're the only person that I can trust to save the space station. Roger, I'll find a way to save Helios. You won't have died in vain. If you die. All right, new plan. I'll stay behind. I need you down on the moon. You gotta find that jamming signal and shut it down. Otherwise, we'll never get control of the moon base and we can kiss that vault goodbye. You're really staying? You'll likely die. Ah, you saved my life a couple of times. I'm repaying the favor. Besides, I'm a hero, baby. Self-sacrifice is part of the job. Well, we need to get a moonshot container up here. Normally, we'd load some supplies, but this time, you're the cargo. So the container's all ready, just get into it. Does this container have restraints, or it does not? Great. Yeah, I'll see you after you shut down that jamming signal. Come on, 
on, hurry. We gotta get to Elpis and find that pool and close the container. Watch your limbs. Loading you into the delivery chamber. This is gonna be loud. It's slightly awesome. You're telling me Jack, handsome Jack, the guy who murdered my boyfriend, stayed behind while you escaped? Like hell. Whether his decision was heroic or purely strategic, I can't say. But if Jack hadn't stayed behind to eject the pod, I might well have died on Helios. <laughs> Your story is making handsome Jack kind of sympathetic. I hate it. All right, we're ready to fire. Whenever you're ready, I'll shoot you to Concordia. It's the biggest town on Elpis. I know someone there who can help you find that jamming signal. answer that. You're not okay. The second you open this door, all the oxygen is going to vent and you're going to suffocate. It'll hurt a lot and your eyes will pop like grapes when the pressure differential gets too harsh. So, here's my plan. When you're ready, open the door and follow me to my oxygen bubble. Sound good? Don't answer. Conserve your oxygen. grapes thing. <gasps> Nearly there. It'd be embarrassing if you died now. Nice to meet ya. I'm Janie Springs, junk dealer. Who are you? I'm Athena. Well, hello. So what are you doing here? We need to get back to Helios Station, but we can't until we take down a jamming signal somewhere on this moon. A jamming signal? Haven't noticed anything like that. You might want to get to Concordia, a little city run by a fella called the Merif. Got to be somebody there who can help you. You'll need an O2 kit. Oz kits, we call them, to survive the journey, though. I've got some broken ones stashed nearby, but I can repair them for you. Even if you ain't the breathing type, you'll be glad you've got an Oz kit. Head to these coordinates and clear the place out. <gasps> that building used to be in one piece and not lava adjacent. Till the crackening, anyway. Ozkit. Great for breathing, double jumping, and slamming enemies. Now, to repay me for saving your life, you're gonna end someone else's. His name's Deadlift. He's nearby, and he's an asshole. He's also got something I'll need to get us into Concordia. 
You cleared the place out? I'm coming down. Just bring the broken Oz kit to me and I'll repair it for you. Deadlift leads a band of scavengers, scavs, who used to raid the old Dahl dig site. Colonel Zarpadon imprisoned them, but they escaped when Dahl's digging cracked the moon. Zarpadon. Anyway, he's got the Digistruct key for my Zoomy stations. Killing him will get you to Concordia and make my week. Win-win! Vault Hunter, this is Colonel Zarpadon. <sighs> Sorry. You must leave Elpis. Things are about to get much worse. I don't want to kill you if I don't have to. Tell that to the people you murdered on Helios. Fine. Do what you will. Deadlift, this is Colonel Zarpadon. I need you to kill the Vault Hunters headed for your ship. Get bent, sir. I ain't taking orders from the chick who threw me in prison. They said your jump pads are stupid. I will annihilate them. <gasps> you got to ride jump pads? I never got to ride a jump pad. I also witnessed the deaths of many innocent people. But, jump pads though. I can't wait to toss your corpse onto a jump pad and watch it take to the air like a child's imagination. Ah. Zoomies at the Dahl Way Station. Get yourself there, but be careful. Scavs have taken over that place after the Krakening. Good on ya. Now just get a vehicle and come on back. If you want to kill some Kragans while you're out there, I'm looking to make some corpse jewelry out of them. Make sure to stop by. I got something that'll get you into Concordia. Maybe you can find your signal there and get back to your ruddy huge space station. Hey, you survived! That was me high-fiving myself. They're looking for me, so I gotta go radio silent. Find the jamming signal, shut it down, and return to Helios. Good to see ya. Here, take this. It's an Orbitron. It'll get you into Concordia. All right. Just jump that crack with your vehicle and you'll be well on your way to Concordia. Once you get there, you should be able to find your jamming signal, or whatever you said. I'll meet you there later. Oh, and Athena? You're real pretty. Just throwing that out. I'm, uh, uh, thank you? All right, welcome to Concordia, a crap hole if I ever saw one. Find a guy named Huckster, he's ex-Hyperion, runs the town. Okay, that's far enough, Buster. Just give him the... 
entry papers and make it snappy. Chop chop. Are you f***ing serious? You're in violation of the verbal space morality statute. You just got a ticket. What the f***? Oh, you just got another. I love rules. They make me powerful. Follow me or you'll get a third ticket. Yes, this is Concordia, mightiest of spaceports on Elpis. Too bad you'll be seeing it only from a cell for all those tickets you've accrued. Give him the Orbitron. Things will get weird, just so you know. Oh, great. Yeah, consider yourself totally cleared for decontamination. Boom! Told you I'd get you in. You're on your own now. So, Huckster, the guy you need to find, calls himself Marif. Like, Mayor mixed with Shara is stupid, whatever. But he might know how to track down the signal. This guy's still pulling down a fat retirement plan from Hyperion from my division. I'm basically his boss. He's pretty much on the team already. Visitors from Helios. Uh, so, here's the thing. Uh, uh, no visitors today. Whoa! You were one of us, you stupid named son of a bastard! Thank you for visiting the offices of the Merif. We hope you enjoyed your bureaucratic interactions. Uh, yes. There is one other person who can help us. Unfortunately, get to the up over bar. Where the hell's Mox? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hey, you see those two on the dance floor? The tattooed chick and the guy allergic to smiling? Ah, oh, they're ex-Vault Hunters. Go see if they'll help. <laughs> oh, finally! Lady Luck flips a frickin' face card. Hello again. Hyperion are losing Helios to Dahl. We need to stop the signal that's jamming its systems. Hyperion, Dahl, is there a difference? We're on vacation. Together. Yeah, sorry, but we're out of the vault hunting game. Too many tentacles. What's that mean? Go talk to Moxie, damn it! Looking for me, sugar? Hello again, Moxie. Jack sent me. Hey, Athena. Haven't seen you since all that business with Knox. Looking good. So, Jack sent you, huh? Must have bothered him something awful. No worries, though. It's all in the past. What does he need? Doll soldiers took down Helios's defenses with a jamming signal. We need to find that signal and shut it down. You want to find a signal? Then you gotta put transmitters on the Echo Towers around town. Get up high. Simple triangulation. They'll find the source, then you can shut it down. Thing is, I don't have any transmitters here, but that's fixable. First, I need you to pick up some moonstones mistakenly confiscated by the Customs Claptrap. Head over there and I'll update your echo. Trust me, it'll make sense. Oi! Can I get a bloody refill? What are you doing? You work here. What? Nah! I just look like that guy! I'm in off the street! Right. Two minutes, then you're off your break. Moxie tells me you're here for her moonstones. I'm pretty sure I store them at the bank. You can pick them up from there. I'm not a big fan of the bank. Still, it serves its purpose. You can use it to stash things you don't feel like carrying around. Oh, that's right. I actually put the moonstones in the stash, not the bank. Uh, you can have the gun. The owner doesn't need it. The stash, huh? That's where you can store items you want to swap between other characters. Not sure why he put the moonstones there. That's right! I had the moonstones all along! 
<laughs> Classic, huh? Seriously? Shame he doesn't ticket himself for stupidity. Pick up the Moonstones and take them to the black market. Check your echo. Show the Moonstones to the guy there and you'll get what you need. I ordered a bunch of transmitters a while back, but I've been kind of avoiding this place. That Janie Springs keeps trying to use it as a place to accidentally run into me. What you want? I got these moonstones from Moxie. Says she's got some transmitters for collection. I'll throw them in if you take some of this other trash off my hands. I'm strictly legit. Seriously? Yeah, okay. Crazy Earl gets around, and he's a useful guy to know. Bring him moonstones and he'll get what you need. What you want? <laughs> Love that gag. I'll hit your echo with the cohorts for the towers and manage things from here. When you get the first transmitter in place, I'll make contact. You need to get above Spring's Emporium O stuff. She's out of town, so she won't be around to help. And so we're clear, tell Jack once this is done, we're all square. Connection, but it's not very stable. You mind giving it a whack for me? That's better. Give me a sec to get everything set up on this end. I, I don't understand, but, but she picked them up. Didn't come in person, sent someone. I'm just letting you know because you said to if anybody ever swung by for them. And she didn't mention me at all? Yeah, so you see what I mean about that girl? The signal. It's not coming from Concordia. Coords for the next tower on your echo. <laughs> yeah, so looks like a bullet or two damaged the relay drive gearbox. Sift through those turrets. See if you can find a replacement. Uh, what? Just, it's a thing that makes the transmitter work again. Small black box. That's it? <clears throat> Score! Give me time to just... Blimey, you really know how to listen to a bloke's problems. I'll give you that. You sure I can't book you for more, uh, uh physical services? I'm a bloody stressed volcano right now, and I can do with the, uh, with the, um, relief. Oh, gross. I make it very clear to all my patrons, Serena is not for... I'll deal with our Marif later. Okay, everything looks set up. Head up to the control panel I've marked on your Echo. Activate it so I can initiate the final scan to pinpoint the signal's origin. The signal's coming from... Crisis Scar. That's an old doll comms facility. Been nothing but scavs there for years. Well, looks like it's working again. Go shut it down. Uh, also, status update, still getting shot at. So if you wanted to hurry, that'd be cool. Attention, citizens of Concordia. Until further notice, for your own protection, the town is in lockdown. No one in or out. That is all. Okay? Oh, what the hell is wrong with this guy? This is so frustrating! Get back to Moxie. She's got secret exits everywhere. <laughs> Classic. If you're looking for Moxie Carver, she's not here. Really hard getting served when she's off in a secret workshop, tinkering with advanced tech and all. If I was any more annoyed, I'd probably let it slip that it's accessible by pushing the arm up on the one armed bandit machine over there. Then pressing the access button, it pops out. Phew, close one. That new internal dialogue filter chip that I had installed is a ripper, mate. Need to check my
bubbles and birds, bubbles and birds, bubbles and... Damn, servo? Moxie? Hey, whoa, what are you doing? <clears throat> what are you doing in here? Sorry. Damn it, I really don't like people seeing me out of character. The hell do you want? The Marif locked down the town. Do you know any other ways out of Concordia? I know a way out, but I ain't... <clears throat> won't show it to you unless you promise not to tell anyone what you saw here. Um, I promise? Great, because if you spill, my son would have to bury you alive in a shallow grave. That's the way out of here. Hope you find that signal, and remember, shallow grave. Sorry, people of Elpis. This is the only way. What the? Whoa, how did they know about... Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll get back to you. What just happened? The whole ruddy moon shook. Yeah, so, uh, not good. Sarpedon's troops have taken control of the Eye of Helios. Uh, it's a big frickin' laser in the heart of the space station. She's targeting the moon's core. Try not to panic, but, uh, she's trying to blow up Alpis. Finally! A proper bloody fight! Well, I just ate, but... Let's put it! signal oh great it's busted head up to the roof there should be a maintenance console there activate it awesome destroy each of the relays that'll shut down the freaking signal the signal's off oh no we got lights up in helios we got security we got fast travel really, really? What the flaming heck's going on over there? The override signal just went down. Who the hell is that? Sounds like Demerit. Wait a minute, you aren't red or Billy. Oh, flip! demerit has been working for Zarpadon the entire time! Gah! I'll meet you in Concordia. Need to have a talk with this guy. I'm not torturing anyone for you, Jack. Calm down, we're not gonna hurt him till we find out what the deal is. Screw this. Let's go pay him a visit. Like I said, don't get trigger happy. If he's got info, I don't want to hear him gurgle it through blood. He has horrible diction to start with. The Marif's elevator is sealed, remember? That's just great. I do have a recording of the Marif talking sexy to Serena, the custom bot's favorite squeeze. Nah, that wouldn't work. Could we use that recording of the Marif talking to the Geisha bot? Maybe blackmail our way in? Yahtzee! Let's go find ourselves one soon-to-be outraged customs claptrap. Get that recording ready, Mox. Come back here! I am the law! The law doesn't make mistakes! Hey! Lawbot! You've just interrupted an officer carrying out his duty! Uh, we're here to file a complaint. Your awesome merif has been breaking the law. We have evidence. Breaking the law? Why don't you tell me all about it? Thank you for your concern, citizen. Rest assured it shall be logged. Long live the Marif. Mox, hit it. Oh, blimey. You really know how to listen to a bloke's problems. I'll give you that. You sure I can't look you for more, uh, uh physical services? I'm a bloody stress volcano right now, and I can do with the, uh, with the, uh, relief. You know that's not what Geisha bots are programmed for. Serena, really? I'm your merit. You'd be doing Concordia Republic service. Might make it worth your while. I'm swimming in dial money right now. <laughs> the Marif's interfacing with my Serena? No! I feel so betrayed! And according to my records, the Marif doesn't have the 
appropriate paperwork to engage in such activities, which kind of makes my outrage morally justifiable. Awesome. Hey, I'm with you, pal. Word is, he's got another appointment booked with Serena right now. What? Citizens, that was not. That may have sounded like my voice, but I, 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 I've been impersonated by someone who sounds like me. I, I, I appreciate you allowing me privacy. This man has no shred of honor. This guy's so busted! Without an inter-organic fraternization license, I'm gonna make his life a living hell! Come on, elevator, let's go! Serena, I'm coming, my love! This is more like it. And here we go! To the mouth! Seriously? You idiot machine? The offices are off! <laughs> right! I'm such a kidder! Up we go! government property will result in your immediate death. Thank you. These aren't gonna stop us, Hunter! Ah, uh, look, no tools today, sorry. Please exit through the gift shop, all right? Said you were dead. Did it said so. I traced the signal that took down our systems on Helios. And guess what? It came from here. Your office. Signal? Signal. She might be doing. Where did she come from? And please, lie to me. I really want you to lie to me. I don't know. What are you gonna do with me? <laughs> Nothing. I was just messing with you. Get the hell out of here. I've been thinking there's a way back to Helios. I surrender. I was gonna let you live, you dumb bastard! What is wrong with you? Oh, that was... Invigorating. Okay, yeah. Where was I? All right, my awesome master plan. Taking the fight to Helios is gonna need an army, so we make one. Head down to Springs, I'll explain on the way. I'm gonna stay here, gonna go through the Marif stuff. We're making a freaking robot army, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah. Shopping list, simple. Some serious combat chassis and top of the line military AI to run them. Word is, Springs is a lady for the AI. Hey, Mox, you know where I can build me some kick-ass robot bodies? Since that giant laser's gonna kill, well, everyone, I know who might be willing to scout around for hardware. Let me talk to them and get back to you. Sounds good. Let's hustle, people. We got a moon to save. What did you think of Jack when you first met him, Will? Considering he was the guy Moxie left you for, I didn't like him. You don't like anybody. I like Brick. Booyah! Dry as a... Well, I'm pretty dry. How are you going? Moxie said you're after some military AI. Big saws. But your best bet's a mate of mine. A little ankle biter by the name of Pickle lives in the Outlands. He's almost impossible to reach mine, but I can help with that. Take this scrambler. Now then, 
I'll upload coordinates of an old Dahl garage to your Echo. Get going, I'll explain on the way. Hey, it's Jack, right? I'm Roland. Moxie dropped me a line. Said you need a hand building robots. My, uh, colleague, Lilith, and I spotted some old Dahl industrial complexes dotted around the area. A scout around might solve your hardware problem. We'll let you know. Sounds good. Act on me when you got something. Things they got over there look bang tidy. Here to help. If the price is right. Good to meet you. Um, hello. Spring says you're trying to get your mitts on some military AI. Well, it's your lucky day. You can half inch one from the Drakensberg. I hear the bosun and the skipper who run that place are well-known collectors of rare and nifty intelligences of the artificial persuasion. Trouble is, it's not like you can just walk right up to the place and ask to have an AI. Still worth a shot. Cocky, eh? Fair enough. They're a tricky pair, but maybe they'll let you on board right off the bat. I'm updating your Echo with the most direct route there. Truth is, I've had my eye on that wreck for a while, and you going in for a bit of a look-see would let me do a bit of shopping myself. The Drakensberg, ex dahl warship and all that, crashed before the Kratnin, that's what they say. Now a bunch of ripe-smelling scavs live there, led by the bosun and his friend, what's called the Skipper. Not that anyone knows what she looks like, which makes your head scratch. Anyway, find a way inside, and don't be shy to say hello to the locals on the way. This used to be Sarpadon's own ship, you know, before she got promoted, I mean. They say it went down before the crackling happened. Imagine that. Crash! Bang! Oh, would have been something to see. Entering positive atmosphere. John, I want an update on the Helios situation. Sir, I've got my best people working on a way to retake the station. That's the Hyperion CEO? Is he as much of a bottle and glass arse as I hear? Who the hell is that? That is the ten-year-old boy we hired to help us. You're fired, John. <laughs> Evil laugh! <laughs> I'm the captain of this vessel, and you, squalid looter, will soon face my wrath. Actually, as I've just blocked a path to my wrath, you'll face my men's wrath instead. My girlfriend and I will enjoy watching you from the safety of the captain's chamber. Won't we, my luscious snuggle bunny? Yep. We've talked about this, my love. You're to address me as baby or my dear, especially in front of the... Others? Of course, my dear Bosie. Mighties, attack! <laughs> hey there, sorry about all that. Look, I'm not really with Captain Arscrack here. To prove it, I'll pop the door for you. If you want that force field down, you need to go to the engine room. All right, lady, but I'm watching. Listen, the bosun's pretty much holding me prisoner and making me do things for his entertainment, but you're here and you look like the rescuing type. They're a flipping vault hunter, so they're more the arse kicking type. Kind of the same thing in my book. Perfect. I know exactly where you can get an excellent military AI. Just come find me. First, I'll have to show you how to shut down the bosun's barrier. Hmm. Reckon she's onto something. Great. I'll try to help along the way where possible, but I can't let the bosun know we're working together. So, sorry in advance for anything I have to do. I'll be in touch when you get to the engine room. Oh, get your peepers on that! Hello there, shiny converter! 
first you meet you here. Don't take that, kid. It's not yours. What? Stop him, my fluffy koalanid! The tiny thieving rat! Crush him! Burn him! Calm down, dear. I'm doing my best. Actually, I'm not. This is fun. Ooh. Are you sure this place actually has a combat AI? These pirate dick bags just sound nuts. Get it? Dick bags? Nuts? <laughs> Word is, before the bosun went native, he was some kind of AI tech whiz. Not that you'd think it now, he's gone all mum and dad mad. But what do you care? Didn't you just get fired? And when I march up to Helios with an army of badass robots, I'll be unfired so quickly it'll make Tassiter's pedo mustache spin off his big gross ugly face. Just get the AI core. Uh, okay. We can bring down the force field, blocking your route to, well, me, by jettisoning the main engines. Removing them will really mess up several of the Drakensberg's key systems. I'll quietly talk you through things and update your echo where appropriate, but the bosun's going to throw a lot of his men at you. Nothing I can't handle. First, head to the engine control panel and set the ship's engines to maximum output. What? What's happening down there? Nothing, dear. It's all under control. Great. Kid, can you find a way to the flow regulator if you know what that is? Of course I know. Give me a sec. I'm there, lady. There's a yellow button next to the red pipe. Push it. Go. You know what to do, Vault Hunter. What the hell are you doing to my ship, Vault Hunter? And why haven't you dealt with them, my sweet? Good work, that's done it. Now all you need to do is expose the power stabilizer. Uh, I don't understand it, love. Ship's engine output at critical level, maggots. I'll, I'll pull your brain out of your ears and dance on your skull with shoes made of acid. And how are you going to put those shoes on? Honestly, you just blurt out threats without thinking. Good. Initiate the engine jettison sequence. Switching to crappy emergency power. No! My lovely engine! <laughs> there, there. Strictly speaking, you didn't actually need to do that last bit, but I knew it would annoy him, so I thought, why not? Job well done! You're on your own, Vault Hunter. I've got fresh loot to sort! Head back to the core system room. We'll take care of the bosun's force field when you get there. The engine shafts your fastest route. All right, insects. This ends here. I'm sending in my best man to finish you off. He's called Poop Deck because he kicks so much ass. Get it? Get it? Well, you're gonna, sweetie pie, open up the door. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Did you want me to keep them open too? What is wrong with you, my love? Poop Dick always had the nicest things to say about you. Oh, I know. Really pissed off. Welcome to your death, land lover.
You need to come open this door now, Vault Hunter. <laughs> wow! The Skipper's an AI! Well, blow my cotton socks off! Got it in one, kid. You're sharp. The bosun, a.k.a. Keith, used to be an AI tech working for Dahl. He made me into... this after he, uh, wasn't exactly a hit with the ladies. You promised me a military AI core. What's its location? You're looking at it. I used to be military grade, ran this ship when it meant something, until the bosun reprogrammed me to be his companion. If you want to plug me into something more interesting than this dead ship, I'm all yours. Too many terrible memories here. What? The hot chick's actually an ex-military AI reprogrammed to be some geek's fake girlfriend? <laughs> Sold! Grab the lovely lady and get going. We've got some friggin' robots to build. I'm ready. Yank me. Jack, Lilith here. Good news is we found an old doll robot factory, abandoned for the most part. We'll echo the Vault Hunter. Bad news is the scabs living there do not like us. Hey, that's awesome. Apart from the you being shot at part, of course. Great work. Uh, thanks. We'll be in touch once we dealt with these guys. It's gonna be harder than it sounds. Hello, this thing working? Vault Hunter, you gotta get that factory's production line running again. I know the factory he's talking about. I can help you navigate it. First, you'll need to catch a train. <gasps> okay, plug me in. I'll call the train. It might take a few minutes. Train incoming! Okay, let's check out the factory and get things moving ASAP. We need mucho robot bodies if we're gonna retake Helios and save the day and stuff. Capish. So, this is where we're gonna build a super awesome robot army. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed. Aren't you the naysayer? Evidently, this place became a regular ghost town when Dahl packed up and left after the Krakening. But we just need to get to the power suit section and get things up and running again. Hello? Uh, help? I'm being held hostage in the main control room just ahead of your current position. Any chance you could, you know, rescue me? The bloody scabs will eat me when they realize I'm not what I say I am. Oh, thanks so much. Feels like I've been trapped here forever. Come on over. I'll open up the door for you. I'll open the door. Am I glad to see you? Here I was doing some help yourself exploring, working on a pet project I've been cooking up when the scabs swept in, about to cut me up bad when I persuaded them I'm a medic. I am a doctor, but more the Hyperion R&D kind. Jack, you know this guy? I don't recognize him. Yeah, what's your name? Ah, uh, sorry bruv, Gladstone Katoa, D-Division. What brings you here? Oh, D-Division, that's where they hide all the Brainiacs who work on the, all the super secret awesome stuff, right? Uh, I work on experimental tech. The Division Green lit me using the resources here. Why are you here? Well, Gladstone Katoa, I need to get back to Helios and retake the big-ass laser on it from a bunch of freaky-looking doll military types. And if we don't, the moon's gonna go boom and take half of Pandora with it. You know, the huge. Oh, man. I wondered what was going on. So, why are you here? Shouldn't you be somewhere more space stationy? Jack wants to build a robot army driven by my AI, then retake Helios with it. I'm Felicity, by the way. Oh. Gotcha. You're after my prototype. Well, it's not finished. What? No, we're here to build robots. What prototype are you talking about? Ah, oh, right. I was working on an uh, off-the-books project, creating a master bot capable of digistructing an almost unlimited supply of other bots. 
My prototype's almost done, but the scav stopped me from installing some key parts. Besides, I wouldn't want something that powerful to fall into their grimy hands. This guy? This guy right here? Tell me more. Yeah, bro. We'll just need to finish putting the hardware together. After that, install a military-grade AI and POW! It should pump out combat-ready loaders. Way ahead of you, man. What do you think old Felicity's here for? What? You want me inside some kind of constructor bot? That's not what I had in mind. Ooh, constructor. I like it. Nice. So, uh, tech dude, this prototype can digistruct combat loaders, right? Because, to be honest, those power suits seem kind of... lame. Yeah, totally. But first, you'll need to finish putting together the prototype. You'll need to get access to the main bot factory itself through the transportation gate. I'll monitor the systems from here. All right, go Team Robot Army. Do I not get a say in this? Sure, yeah, whatever makes you happy. Just make my loaders deadly. By the way, last guy who double-crossed me has got nothing but a bunch of bullet holes and a stupid look on his face. Get me? Why would I cross you, bruv? You're trying to save the moon and you seem like a stand-up guy. Plus, you're about to help me complete my life's work. Finally here! So, this is the birth canal of my new robot army, huh? Yeah, this is where I was doing most of my work before the scavs came and forced me to be their medic. We we'll need to clear the area of them before getting to work. Oh, sorry. That electrified the water. At least this place has power now. That, good people, is the sound of progress. One step closer to saving the world! Okay, let's get down to serious business now. The first thing we need to do is complete the eye part. That's the really clever bit. I already have the process set up, but we'll need the material from a few of the security bots. I was never able to get them myself. Well, let me guess. All brains, no balls. <laughs> yeah, something like that. The little buggers back quite a punch. Head back to the security office that looks over the main room and call them in. Of course, that might attract more scabs too, so be prepared. That's the stuff. Get the rest. <coughs> Next up, head to the Oculus Lab. I'll walk you through the process. It should already be set up. Okay. Just place the pieces in that converter over there. It'll melt down the raw materials and form the prototype eye. An eye converter? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. Why the hell would they make an eye converter? They didn't make it. I did. I was here for a long time preparing this lab for my prototype. This is highly sensitive experimental technology. Really? Because it looks like a toaster. Hey! <clears throat> there it goes. All my hard work finally paying off. We're seeing history in the making. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, now pick it up. Brand new weapon for a brand new war. Okay, now head back to the main room. We need to plug that baby into the main torso. Flip that latch and the cage should open. Is this what we're building? Oh, I was so close to finishing this when the scabs arrived. It'll pump out a lot of robots. Enough to make the difference against Dahl or whatever they are. Ah, oh, it's, uh... Looks kind of like a... Dumpster wrapped in sadness. Hey, no offense. This constructor will be able to digistruct highly complex machines at an unsurpassed rate. Now that's done, we need to mount the torso onto the crane system. Oh, bruv, this is really happening! It's working! My old professor said I'd never amount to anything, but she was wrong! And now look at me. You want me inside that thing? I've been wondering about this installation. You know, you could just copy me. It takes a little longer, but it's the same thing, and I'd find it much less terrifying. Exactly how much less terrifying? It's the difference between brain surgery and being scanned. Uh, 
let me think about it. We're so nearly there! Feels like mercenary day! So this is going to be my new home, huh? Not sure I want to move in. Right. The legs are in the other lab. They're still attached to an experimental version of the dial power suit. So you'll need to separate them and get them into the crane system. How about I take over the power suit, then walk the legs to where they can be assembled? Wouldn't that be easier? Hey, that's not a bad idea. I didn't even think of that. It'll be a nice warm-up for you. Okay, plug me in. This body feels strange. Arms, legs. Is this what it's like to be human? This is the worst. All right, let's see what you can do. Not bad, Buttercup. You turned all those scabs into puddles. I did, didn't I? Everything's lost like tears in a puddle. Okay, I'm ready to detonate. Stand back. Perfect, Felicity. Vault Hunter, can you use the controls to lower the torso onto the legs? Yeah, this is gonna get awesome. It got awesome. It's a brute, isn't it? Construction's complete, finally! The shell just needs to go through testing in the diagnostics chamber. We'll be able to install the AI core Felicity there. You know, Jack, I really didn't enjoy killing those scavs. Maybe this is all a mistake. I don't like killing either, babe. Wait, wait! I don't want to have my memory wiped! I don't want to turn into... Look, can't you just put a copy of me into the constructor? Exactly how long will it take to copy you? Couple of days at the absolute most. Uh-uh, too long. Zarpadon will have popped the moon like a zit by then. Look, I'm really sorry, kiddo. This is the only way. Fault Hunter, do it. Sorry, Felicity. The moon can't wait. in a fight. Trash the rest. Felicity, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can hear myself die, I can... No. Stop it. No! 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 That is what you want. That's what you'll get. Still in there? Look, we need that thing intact. Disable it, but don't destroy it.
would look tough. Whatever. Good work. Now let's see what this puppy can pump out. Gladstone, make me some friggin' robots. Ready for construction. Okay, okay, not bad. But you know what? Appearances do matter. They need a little more... Je ne sais quoi. Let's go with Hyperion Yellow. Yes, sir! That's what I'm talking about. Awesome. Should I go ahead and start creating more? Yeah, you bet your ass. You know what? Come to think of it, other stuff needs a kick in the pants, too. Let me get that down. Think up awesome new names and colors for Hyperion weapons. All right, I think we're good to go. Come back to Moxie's, we'll get you geared up and ready for the big fight. Here's where it gets fun. I stashed some loot away for a special occasion. Guess this qualifies. Help yourselves. All right, here we go, everybody. The jamming signal's down, we've got a robot army, and it's time to get back to Helios and turn off that death laser. Roland and I will head up with you guys and provide support. And I'll be cheering you on from the cozy confines of this cantina. I don't know how hairy things have gotten up there, so be prepared for anything. Let's go. We'll fast travel up there first. You follow behind. If we don't shut that laser down soon, we can kiss this whole moon goodbye. See you on the other side, kiddo. What she said. Let's be heroes. Where is everybody? Crap, I think we're on the other side of Helios. Crap, looks like the fast travel split us all up. Doesn't change the plan though. Get to the eye of Helios command center, shut the laser down without damaging it, save the moon and be hailed as a hero forever. Sound good? Of course it does. What the hell are you doing? I fired you! And you'll be thanking me once Helios is back in Hyperion hands. What have you done to the station? The color scheme is all... Yeah, red and black were a little grim. Yellow pop is better, don't you think? Anyway, can't fire me, sucker. You already did. Later! Huh? Station seems more or less in one piece. How about you? You holding up? Don't understand the question. Heading to objective now. All right, cool. I'll meet up with you later. We can talk some more then. Jamming signal or no, this station is mine, Vault Hunter. Yeah, oh, she's locked the path. We can't get to the Eye of Helios. Well, we shut down the jamming signal. I don't... All right, whatever. Just get back to my office. Maybe we can lower the defenses from there. God, I hate this chick. They've breached Helios! Intensify firepower! Oh, hell. She's focusing the laser. Authorization required. Please step into the scanner. Please press the button to activate the scanner. Unknown user detected. Authorization denied. Oh, uh, maybe you can get a claptrap to authorize you. There should be one nearby. And, uh, sorry in advance. I am a CL4P. I need to get into Jack's office. Okay, I shall lead the way. Interface <laughs> unlocked. Please integrate with terminal to open door. <laughs> oh, gee, uh, I don't know about that. Integration can be kind of dangerous. Do it or I'll kill you. Okay. Integration commencing. User authorized. Have a nice day. 
I'm dying. I'm dying. Noted. Oh, you made it into the office? Great. Uh, do me a favor and turn on that fast travel in there, would you? For now, I need you to take that claptrap you found and plug him into the security terminal. He can lower the defenses leading to the Eye of Helios laser. The claptrap died. Are you kidding me? I swear to God, if I ever become CEO, I'm gonna destroy every last one of those friggin' things. Good. Now we can't lower the Helios defenses. Oh, let me think, let me think, let me think. Jack! My team's been down in R&D! We're bloody surrounded! Sorry, Gladstone, but I just had an idea. Vault Hunters, get to R&D and rescue Gladstone's team. They can hack those defenses for us and open up the way to the eye. God, I'm smart. Oh, glad you made it. Come find me, but be careful. The talks broke out of their cages. Now that I think about it, I do remember Gladstone. He helped set up R&D on his own. Hired the team all by himself, made a lot of pretty cool stuff. He's a decent enough guy. I think I can get you to the Eye of Helios, but I need some help. Sorry I messed up. Three of my fellow scientists got stuck in here when Zarpadon's forces attacked. Sorry. If you can free them, we can lower the defenses leading to the Eye. You don't need to apologize so much. Right. Sorry. I mean, not sorry. I mean, um... I'll head back to Jack's office now. Thanks for the help. Let me uncloak the exit. Is that a portable cloaking device? Yeah, I made it out of stalker glands for Jack. Even made it look like his pocket watch. Can you give it to him? Whoops. Why am I not surprised? Man, I've got a mild case of the shivers! Thanks for rubbing it in! Y'all are jerks. You did great! With all the scientists rescued, we can help you get to the eye laser. I'll meet you back at Jack's. Gladstone, why does Zarpadon still have control over Helios' defenses? We shut down the jamming signal on Elpis. The Vault Hunters shouldn't even have to be saving your asses right now just so you can lower the shields. No offense. Ah, uh, Zarpadon might have a weaker signal jammer on her person. She could have another mole in Helios, like the Merif. Or she probably just manually rewired the security system. Wait, 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 wait. There might be another traitor on Helios? That's only one possibility. I... Jack? Jack, you there? Hey! <laughs> Athena? Roland. Ro and I just fought our way across the other side of Helios. Hope you guys didn't have all the fun on this end. The scientists just shut down the defenses leading to the laser. Got one last thing to wrap up before I send you off, though. Let's talk. Hope this has all been worth it. Oh, hey, cool. Cloaking device, huh? Thanks, Doc. Still alive, thanks to you. Much obliged. Yo. You are great. You're great. You guys disabled the defenses leading to the big-ass laser. Uh, we're gonna head off and shut it down, but I'm gonna summon my personal escape ship to get you guys the hell out of here. Vault Thunder, uh, hit that button over there. Ah, here we go. Airlock sealed. Preparing to vent contents of airlock. Oh? New plan, everybody! Dr. Gladstone here informed me that one of you might still be a traitor working for Zarpadon. Might! I said might! Hundreds of innocent lives are on the line here, kiddos. I just can't take the risk. Shoot me in the back once, shame on you. Shoot me in the back twice. For what it's worth, I am really sorry. Jack, don't! No! God. Huh, that's 
Seinfeld. Kind of good. Anywho, uh, let's talk. <clears throat> uh, the path to the Eye of Helios is open. Get through the inner hall and open that fast travel network so I can shut her down. Uh, Roland, Lilith, you stay here, defend my office. I need to retreat here later. Sounds like a plan. Roland, he just murdered... Sounds like a plan. We'll see you when you get back. You know, if I hadn't airlocked those scientists, one of them might have turned those defenses back on just as you were walking through. Would have fried you like a skag steak. Think on that. Those people were frightened. They would have done nothing. Yeah, well, agree to disagree. Just get to the other end of the inner hall and we can shut down the Eye of Helios. Warning, zero atmosphere environment. Welcome to the maintenance area. It's not done yet. The central complex is occupied by a doll, but it's the only open route to the Eye. I'll mark the entrance for you on your map. I'm turning on some worker bots to help you out. <laughs> Just follow the worker bots. They'll lead you out of the hall. Sugar, I hear you're trying to shut down that laser. Yeah, that's the plan. Knock it off with the sugar thing, will ya? Look, whatever you're about to try isn't gonna work. A laser of that size using that much power? There's no way the Colonel hasn't rigged it to blow the entire station if you try to disarm it. She did? Yeah, of course she did. <laughs> Damn it, how did I not see that coming? Good thing you've got a tech whiz on your side, sugar. I'll help you get that laser down. No muss, no fuss, no explosions. Thanks, Mox. I appreciate it. I'll send you the blueprints now. All right, I've got a plan. Roland and Lilith, head to the station's reactor. Jack, I need you and your vault hunters at the Eye of Helios itself. Once everyone's in place, we should be able to shut the laser down and save the moon. God, you're hot when you're technical. I know. Don't. Detonate the charges! Now! Warning, entering vacuum. Oh, for... Are you okay? You alright? I'm fine. What now? Uh, we need to get to the laser some other way. Um... Okay, what about this? If we set off a chain reaction in the plasma conduits, it'll blow a hole in the station and you can climb through to reach the laser. You'll have to destroy the plasma regulators. Find them and break them. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Did I hear you right? Blow a hole in the station? What are you... Yeah, that sounds crazy irresponsible, huh? You should probably fire me. Oh, wait! Great, I'm ready on this end. Get to a safe distance, signal me, and I'll blow open a path to the laser. <laughs> Far enough away? Awesome! Let's do this! And a one, and a two, and a... Wait for it... Skadoosh! Pretty fun to mess stuff up with reckless abandon, gotta say. The path's clear now. Get to the laser. Oh, yeah, right. Duh. I locked the place before Dahl took over. Uh, go ahead and power up that fast travel, and I'll let you in. Fast travel online. You're free to arrive. Righto, on my way. What's up? Follow me, we got a world to save. I could fix that. There she is. I weapon of weapons. A laser powerful enough to crack the moon. What powers it? Oh, it's just, you know, stuff, usual, fit, normal. You know, let's just let it shut it down. Let's shut it down. Okay, inside the laser is a core reactor that makes it all work. Log on to the control systems and try to shut it down remotely.
Remote shutdown failed. Systems lockout. Zarpadon locked you out? Sounds like you'll need to shut it down the old-fashioned way. With your hands. Ah, oh, Ferd, she's right. Get over here. You gotta get down to the laser core and shut her down manually. Good luck. to damage the blue coolant, not the red thermal charges. I hate this place. According to the blueprints, looks like there are three more of those babies. Two of them just need a little love tap and you'll be able to get to the eye and shut it down. the smaller reactors are shut down. It's time for the big climax. Find the primary fusion reactor. It'll take a bit more work to bring down, so get ready to put in some elbow grease. <clears throat> That's the big reactor. Just access the system and it'll start draining power from the force field. Careful though, I got a hunch things might get messy. Power draining. All right, just hold on. This reactor holds a huge charge. Once it's drained, the field will come down. You will never reach the laser core! Soldiers, kill! It's powering down. Just hold your ground until it's off, and don't let them power it back up! This is taking forever. Lilith, roll it! The surge relays must be supplying power to the reactor. Take them out. No idea what that means, but we'll start shooting stuff. I need the path wide open or things are gonna get messy. Working on it. Also, that's what she said. I know what she said. Just do it. We got heavy resistance. That's gonna take some time. I can't find the power to the security fields. We got... This thing looks important. I'm gonna blow it up. I am a genius. Force field power depleted. Force field disabled. The way to the laser is open. I'm coming down. The laser core awaits. Let's get going. Yeah, uh, we're gonna have to go through here. You're kidding me. It's an electrical convergence, la, 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 it doesn't matter. Just wait for the laser to fire before you run through. It'll momentarily drain the power and stop all the electricity. Wait for it. Now, go! Oh man, I hate that thing. I wish the laser didn't need it. Or that they hadn't built it like an enormous death trap. Son of a... Oh, and of course it's locked from the other side. Thanks, Zarpadon! We're gonna have to take the long way around. Let's hit the elevator and go topside. an orc. 
deal, huh? Man, I am glad that asshole is dead. Just give me a second to catch my breath. And we'll shut down the laser. your fire. I'm not done with it yet. It doesn't matter what happens today. Your fall is coming. Yeah, yeah, cool. Where's the vault? Hidden beneath a tangle of chemical filth. I've seen what lies inside it. You wait, can't... Wait, wait, wait. You've seen inside it? The vault's open? You must turn back. The power within the vault would trigger a chain of events... Or... The vault's already open, huh? Cool. Now let's deal with that laser core. And this is where the magic happens. What the hell is that? This is what makes the Eye of Helios work. It's the core of the entire weapon. How could this thing even generate that much power? Come over here, I'll show you. There she is. Hey, pumpkin. You in there? What the hell? What is that? The Eye of Helios. Well, it's actually the eye of the destroyer creature that came out of the vault, but I attach it to my laser to increase its power tenfold. Because <clears throat> I'm awesome. You used the destroyer's eye as a weapon? It was a weapon already. All the Iridian remnants are. I just figured out how to use it. Anyway, how do we shut this thing down? Carefully. Even ignoring the weird-ass eye, this type of reactor is highly volatile. You're feeding it something that amplifies its power, aren't you? Oh, uh, runoff from the iridium refinement process. Some of the scientists call it slag. All right. Do exactly as I say and everything will be fine. Switch three of the flow sequencers to their prime position and reverse the power differential. Uh... Press the thingy until you see purple, then press the thingy again. Roger. Juice the eye with a little bit of slag at a time. Are you sure that it won't hurt the eyeball? Trust me, sugar. stuff is powering the laser. We need to force as much of it as we can back into the eye. The increased power will trip a failsafe and let us shut everything down. The eyeball may not like it, but it'll be fine, honey.
Just like I said. With that fail-safe trip, we can reboot, and then the laser will be all yours. Wait! Don't press that button! What's wrong? If the eye starts acting weird again during the reboot, I don't want to be anywhere near it. Thanks to the fail-safes, it couldn't possibly do anything other than shut down. Nah, well, agree to disagree. All right, let's get back to the command center. With Zarpa nuts dead, we can reboot the laser remotely from there. Alrighty, the bad guy's dead. We're about to save the moon, and the vault full of cool ass alien stuff is apparently already open. Just shut down the laser, and we can get to the fun part finding that vault. I'll let you do the honors. Reboot sequence activated. Command control reset. Rebooting in five, four, Three, two, shut down aborted. Invalid energy configuration. Oh, great. What now? Jack, I'm sorry. I'm not. Warning, singularity detected. Whoa, what the hell? Good job, everybody. What's Moxie? What the hell are you doing? Betraying you trying to kill you. Two things I should have done a long time ago, you power-hungry psychopath. What do you mean, Moxie? How did you even... I've been watching you, Jack. And behind that smile, behind that hero complex, there's something wrong about you. If you come down from Helios alive, a lot of decent people will live to regret it. No, 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 no! Damn it, I trusted you, Moxie! You know what you've done? You just killed us all! Bye bye, sugar. them all in time but for now we just need to get to that vault before they do dumb bastards probably want to destroy what's in there Zarpadon said a tangle of chemical fill did she mean doll's old back of Burke refinery site get back to the moon's surface and check it out there's got to be something there that'll lead us to the vault what's going on up there John the readings we've got shut the hell up Tassiter shut the hell up my ex-girlfriend and her two BFFs just tried to kill me. And the last thing I need right now is your senile ass whining in my ear. If I get one more message from you that isn't, Atta boy, Jack, or I'm sending you a big bag of money, then I'm going to reach through my echo communicator and gouge your eyes out with my PKs. <clears throat> Are we clear? I... Goodbye, John. Goodbye. Thank you for calling. Athena, I saw the laser go. My dear lady, I owe you a drink. No arguments. Maybe later. Right now, I've got a job to finish. After surviving your attempt on our lives, we headed to Zarpadon's refinery site to look for the vault. Why? You'd already saved the moon. Why not just leave? I was hired to find a vault. I don't leave jobs half-finished. That and Lilith attempted to murder me. If she wanted the vault, I wanted to stop her. Yeah, sorry I tried to kill you. No, you're not. No, I'm not. So Moxie tried to kill Jack? She never told me that. She's got layers, like an onion made of boobs. Moxie plays her cards pretty close to the chest. Which is saying something given her cup size. Here's how it is. You search that site for a way into the vault. We go there, we get what's inside it, and we use it to kill Lilith, Roland, and all those sons of bitches. Once I'm even with those two, you won't see me again. Good 
news, John. You're through, and this time the board is behind me. You've been terminated. You say one more word to me, and I will make your death slow. What are you? That was three. I'll be seeing you soon. Jack, we could just rush to the vault. We don't need to fight the gunship. No! You let your enemies live, they shoot you in the back! I don't want any surprises! Wait, wait, I don't want any survivors! Down. You blow that ship to hell, and you... He's losing it. have one chance to leave this place. I'm really hoping you don't, but... Oh, baby, you're gonna look real pretty dying. All that ego and sass just oozing out of bullet holes. How you feeling about this, Athena? You feeling good? I'm feeling good. Shut up and let me work, Jack. I don't need to know how much you enjoy this. Is something following you? Getting some weird readings that, uh... Ah, forget it. It's probably nothing. Let's keep moving. Yeah, that was me. How did you follow them without getting noticed? I actually don't know. One of the Guardians attacked me for some reason. Something wanted to let me through. This looks dangerous. You should go first.
big bastard, wasn't he? Nicely done. Keep an eye out for that creepy red one. I don't want to get interrupted. Wait. What? That's it? That little thing. The hell did... Oh. I know. What the hell? You're gonna find me a doctor. Then we're gonna wipe those bandit bastards off the face of Pandora. And then... Then we're gonna wake the warrior. The what? It's gonna be so good. We're gonna scorch the freaking planet in fire. There's gonna be screaming. Bandits are gonna die left and right. <laughs> I can't wait! <laughs> And that is when the hero who saved us on Helios died. That was when I left Handsome Jack's employ. You regret teaming up with Jack? Yes. Now do what you will. Kill her. What? No! If it weren't for people like her, our friends might still be alive. Ready? This ain't us, Lil. This ain't you! Fire! What the hell? Now is not the time for victory or touches. War is coming, and you will need all the vault hunters you can get. been replaced, sweet cheeks. Starting today, you're working for me. Who is... John, is that you? Call me Jack, honey. 